Hello everyone, this is Etho, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new cannon that I just fil finished building. Uh, you can kind of see it off in the distance there, it's that giant glass building uh, suspended from the ceiling. And what it is, it's one of my uh, 360 cannon designs built uh, in the nether. And uh, I'm going to take you up to it right now, and you can get a closer look. Alright, we're approaching the cannon now. Uh, right now we're in the ceiling of the nether, and that's how you uh, enter the cannon. There's a minecart track that takes you here quickly, and uh, down below is the cannon there. A little glass lookout over here that we can look down on it at. And there's a little glass lookout here. Give us a nice wide view of our surroundings. I have to make this uh, part a little more pretty yet, but uh, the most important part is the cannon below. Uh, over here is the timer system, which I will get to uh, in a bit. Uh, first, let's look at the cannon. This is the uh, control room, I guess you would call it. It's a nice uh, glass lookout all the way around, so we can uh, easily pick our target and then uh, try to hit it. This is part of the timing system here. And below... Actually, let's, let's do a launch first. Uh, I'm going to load it up all the way, just to show you how you load it. It holds 24 missiles, and each of them is roughly 15 degrees apart from each other. So they shoot at uh, 15 degrees different angle. And then there is uh, one booster ring here, it holds 8. And then above us is another booster ring, which ho also holds 8. So 16 boosters total to uh, propel the missiles far. And I'm going to change our delay. There's uh, 12 buttons all around the cannon that we can use to fire. So it's, uh, it's easy to launch it. Just one, press one button, boosters fall in the lava, shells fall in the lava, and they get launched all around us. Alright, that should give you guys a general idea of how this uh, cannon functions. And now I'm going to uh, break down its uh, different parts and explain uh, how they work, and then later we're going to do a few uh, uh, test launches for uh, target practice. Uh, okay, so first thing I'm going to talk about is the base of the cannon down there. Uh, there's uh, seven by seven half slabs all around, which are directly below the seven by seven opening all around here where the missiles go. And there's lava in the center there. The boosters fall into the lava. And the lava prevents the TNT from destroying uh, the base of the cannon. Because in the nether we can't place water, so we have to use uh, lava to absorb the blow. And then the shells, they fall on the half slabs all around. And the boosters uh, shoot the, the missiles uh, out wherever we want them to go. And this wood here is made out of uh, two wooden half slabs stacked together, so they're strong like stone. There's uh, ladders all around uh, this first booster ring here, and that is so that we can easily walk over here without falling down, because if you fall down, you're in trouble. And they also... Uh, I'll demonstrate what else they do. So 
So normally when TNT is activated, it hops up vertically. These uh, ladders, they prevent it, the TNT from doing that, so uh, the TNT drops right away. Uh, the only place I don't have the ladders is in the four corners, so kind of an issue, but not really a big deal. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, this one it will hit the half slabs before this one, because this one's going to jump up. See how it fell first. So that's what that's for. Uh, mainly it's so you don't fall down. This uh, glass ring below the uh, first booster ring makes it uh, easy to place our TNT because we can place the TNT against the glass. Uh, it also uh, prevents the TNT from jumping uh, out at an angle and make sure the TNT falls straight down and it goes down two blocks and same with our uh, ring of glass around the the shell ring uh, it goes down two blocks as well and that's to make it more difficult for the guests to see us because uh, any opening like we have right here if the gas sees us they'll start shooting at us and we'll potentially wreck the cannon. So, in general it's pretty safe up here though, especially if you stay off of this uh, wooden ring that goes around. The only place they can really see you is if you are standing here. Uh, like I said before, the cannon has 12 buttons all around uh, the cannon for easy launching. Uh, when you press the button, it uh, power transfers to this first booster ring all around, which ignites all the TNT. And it also uh, goes around a redstone ring here. This is our second booster ring, which ignites all the TNT in the second booster. And then the wire all uh, merges together t at this central point here. And it goes up here to our uh, timer delay system. Um, once it passes through our timer delay system, the wire goes down here. Down a spiral staircase to here and it lights up this torch here. And then when this torch lights up it sends power this way all around and this way all around. And this wire here runs a full length of 15. Over here is the 15th uh, wire length and same with over here so that's the maximum distance you can send power through redstone wire without using a repeater. So it works out pretty good. And our timing delay is controlled over here. This is Etherimp's variable timer system uh, with my, I guess you would call it independent binary uh, delay system or whatever. It's a little bit complicated. Both uh, Etheramp and I have tutorials on this, and I'll link them in the description. You can check them out if you want to more detail on how this works. Uh, basically, I'll try to cover it a little bit here. This particular cannon has a base of 10 torches, so a 10 torch delay. Uh, this lever here, when down, adds an extra 2 torch delay. This one's down, it adds 4, this one's 8, and this one is 16. And so that means the minimum delay this cannon can have is 10 torches, and the maximum delay is 40. Uh, you don't want any cannon to have a delay longer than 40, because that's uh, uh, how long TNT takes to explode, so anything beyond that and you're likely to blow up your cannon. 
And so by combining these levers in different ways, it's possible to have a delay of 10, 12, 14, 16, all the way up to 40. Uh, with this particular cannon though, I found I don't want anything over 30. I'll try to demonstrate that why. Okay, so we have a 10. Um, 10 plus 16, that's 26. I'm going to add 4 more to make 30. And the problem is we need time for this TNT to fall down to our base with this type of cannon. You see it uh, got shot off while it was still in midair. So if it's at 40, I might as well blow up my cannon. I have a backup. And you'll see why you don't want anything longer than 30. So it's at 40 now. 10 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 is 40. <laughs> Boosters blow up at pretty much the same time that TNT drops but it doesn't propel that TNT because it's not uh, near the boosters so that's that's the problem so keep it at 30 or less uh, the reason for delay if you want I'll try to show you uh, right now we have it at the longest delay possible 40 when we press this button the time it takes that that lights up instantly. This one takes a lot longer to light up. That's our 40 delay. Our shortest delay is 10. So now when we press this, this one lights up a lot sooner. And by combining these in different ways, we can change the delay with a lot of accuracy. And so if a shorter delay will cause the TNT to explode closer to the cannon, which is good if you're trying to uh, make it blow up in midair and hit something in midair. If you want a farther shot, you want a longer delay, and you can hit stuff 200, 300 blocks away, no problem then. Originally I built the timer system, I was going to use in my nether cannon here in the real world and then I was going to just copy it uh, for my cannon. But uh, the way it worked out, I couldn't get the wiring to match up properly without adding extra repeaters so I wasn't able to use this. But uh, this is a very uh, clean and compact way of doing it. If uh, if you need this timer system for anything. I will be uploading my world here so you can try out the cannon and uh, you can come check out this timer if you want to use it for anything. This is a good uh, nice compact way of doing it. But unfortunately I wasn't able to use it. Uh, instead uh, this is what I ended up doing. The wire comes up here from the boosters and goes to the timer system here. Uh, this one turned out pretty uh, compact too, but it's really nasty, the wiring. It's really weird how I did it. I think even your leading redstone experts will be scratching their head as to why I did this the way I did. But it works and that's all I care about. And it works well. Uh, this slow sand here is to fix a problem I was having with my uh, second booster ring. Um, what was happening is the TNT was falling down and landing sometimes on this glowstone here or even on the wooden ring around the first booster ring and blowing up the cannon. So. I figured out that putting a slow sand above the TNT uh, causes the TNT to bounce up and hit it. And when it hits the slow sand, it falls straight down. 
instead of slightly off. So that fixed the problem. Uh, in my original Canon design, I had this. Uh, I had a guard uh, one block below this ring, which uh, kept the TNT in line. But this method works too if the booster is the top one. So I'll probably have a lot of people asking me this, so I'll just answer the question right now. This cannon was built entirely uh, without using InVedit or any other editing program. All the resources were uh, mined legitimately. And also, this entire cannon was built, even now, while playing on hard difficulty. Uh, never did I switch it to peaceful, so it was uh, quite challenging to do. The way I built the base down there is I I built it all and then I got my I got up here by uh, placing a block and uh, snaking my way up and you do that by by copying this and slowly you can make your way up one block at a time so that's how I got out of there without dying. And uh, I will not be making a tutorial on this cannon, this particular nether version. I will be making one on my original uh, regular 360 cannon, though. Uh, if you want this one in your world, you can try to edit it using MC Edit and copy paste it into your world. Uh, like I said, I'll be. Uh, Putting this world up for download if you want to play with this cannon and uh, you can have some fun with it. And if you do download my world, you will find the TNT in here. This is all legitimate TNT too. So, hope you have fun with it. And I'm going to do a few uh, test shots now, some target practice. Originally, I built this cannon to shoot at gas and to use them as moving targets, but uh, apparently that's almost impossible to do because they mo move so freakishly fast and so randomly that uh, by the to time you load your shots, they're long gone. I've never actually hit one yet, unfortunately. And I probably never will. Um, so for our target tests, let's uh, try to shoot at fire. Um, let's try hit that one there. So I'm going to try to figure out my angle. I'd say about here. And I'll load up the uh, cannon. Usually I only use the first ring. Try to guess the power. The more that you use this cannon, the better you get at uh, aiming. Oh, it was pretty close. Uh, I think it went a little bit too far though. So I'm going to lower the power this time. And you can uh, tweak the angle by uh, the way you position the TNT in the two rings and you can also tweak the power by how many TNT you use. Alright, second try. Um, what else should we try hit? Let's try hit that fire there, those four fires. Um, I'm going to try one here. Doesn't look like it's too far either. Try five, I guess. Oh, bad angle. Put one in the corner. Oh, 
Ooh, I was really weak though. I don't think the corners have quite as much power. Uh, we can increase it by using our second ring though. Hmm, close, close. Slightly the wrong angle though. Let's see. Hmm, still off. Let's try it this way. It's a lot of fun uh, doing a uh, target practice. Well, that's way off. Huh? Oh, that was so close. Let's see. Can't quite remember how I had that one. Oh, good angle, but way too far. Hmm. so close. It's too weak that time. Hmm. Looks good. Yeah, it took out three of them. Pretty cool. Lots of fun. No gas around though. To even try. Um, let's try to do a f hard shot with more power. And this will probably be our last one because I'm. Um, uh, video is running pretty long, and you're probably getting bored. Nice. <laughs> that was good. All right, guys. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you like my new cannon. And uh, again, you can uh, download my world in the description and you can play with it yourself. So have fun. See you later.